Rice insisted on shooting itself in the foot. With their starting backfield back from injury and an improving defense, Rice had its chances against Utsa. But ill-timed penalties and turnovers kept the Owls from challenging as the Roadrunners pulled away, winning 27. We got to find a way offensively to generate more than seven points a game, head coach David Bailoff said. We cannot afford to make the same mistakes. For the second consecutive game, Rice's first offensive drive resulted in a defensive touchdown. The Owls had just picked up a first down when quarterback Sam Glazeman rolled out of the packet on a play-action pass. But as his legs carried him right, the ball fell to the turf. Moments later, Utsa defensive and Marcus Davenport was gliding through the end zone for the scoop and score touchdown. You're not going to win if you're not winning the turnover battle. That's a stat we continue to lose, Bailoff said. Penalties and turnovers have been the story of the 2017 Rice Owls, but nowhere was that fact more evident than in the Alamo Dome on Saturday. On Rice's following offensive drive, a catch that would have given the Owls a first down was erased by a penalty. That's a running back Tyrell Clay burst upfield for a 73-yard run seven plays later, although the defense would hold them to a field goal. Rice responded in the second quarter, when Glazeman found Aaron Cephas deep for the 50-yard touchdown strike. They trailed 10-7. But as the game waned, Rice's mistakes continued to come at inopportune times. Glazeman opened the second half with a deep throw that was intercepted because of a miscommunication with a receiver. Atsa turned the turnover into points when quarterback Dalton Sturm found Brady Jones for a 26-yard touchdown. Another field goal extended the lead to 27 in the third quarter. Late, Rice still had chances, but penalties continuously erased would be gains. A promising third quarter drive was stalled after a holding call. With nine minutes left, Smalls found Cephas for a 55 yard catch. Running back Emmanuel Isuk ran for the touchdown shortly after, but another holding call took the points off the board. Smalls was sacked on fourth down a play later. It was Davenport who came up with the sack, ending Rice's comeback hopes. The senior was dominant, recording 11 tackles with 3.5 behind the line and two sacks. Davenport also drew the hold that erased a suck the score. Glazeman finished completing three of nine passes for 84 yards with the touchdown and interception. He also rushed for 69 yards. Smalls, playing in his second game of the season, completed three of five passes for 61 yards and the pick. Despite its defensive growth, the unit allowed two 100-yard rushers for the second game in a row. Sturm rushed for 105 yards, plus 134 passing yards and a touchdown. Clay rushed for 153 yards. We've got to figure it out now, we don't have any time, Bailoff said. Linebacker Brian Womack did give Rice fans something to be happy about. The senior registered nine tackles including three sacks, bringing his season total to eight. Rice must win their final five games if they have any hopes of qualifying for a bowl game this season. The Owls host Louisiana Tech next Saturday.